Time now for our last call, and yes, it was a rematch for the ages. The Hawkeyes are headed back to the Final Four. Crowds at the MVP Arena in Albany erupting after the Iowa Hawkeyes women's team won over the LSU Tigers. Superstar Caitlin Clark putting up 41 points to help avenge her team's loss last year in the national championship to LSU. Also breaking the record for most three-point shots in an NCAA women's tournament history. UConn superstar Paige Buchers uh, called uh, game they call her Paige Buckets now. Also moving forward, UConn with a solid win over USC. The Final Four uh, now just about set there. Uh, Iowa will face off with UConn on Friday night in Cleveland. Uh, and North Carolina State will play against the undefeated South Carolina Gamecocks. You can catch all this action Friday night on ESPN. Let's bring back our panel real quick. LZ, uh, did this Iowa-LSU rematch live up to the hype? Oh, absolutely. 1,000%. I mean, where were they tied 45 all at halftime? That right there tells you just how even they were. But now it gets even harder for Kayla Clark. I'm so excited for her. I mean, to face UConn, the school that has always done it in these moments, and then possibly to face South Carolina. Woo! I am ready for it all. Well, and yesterday you put some pressure on Caitlin. You said she had she had to win to prove herself as the goat. Um, John, I want you to hop in here. Yeah, she did. She did. Uh, John, I want you to hop in here. Your thoughts on on the women's final four? Uh, we, we know the your bracket's probably been busted a while ago, but uh, what what have you made of all this action? Well, the, the game last night, the only thing would have been better if they played it on Bourbon Street in New Orleans because it was worthy of such a party atmosphere. It was fantastic, as LZ said. The only thing I can say about the Final Four is that my bracket is toast. So I'm just going to enjoy watching four teams play that I didn't I didn't think we're going to get there. My bracket, not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, friend. Uh, Julie, how big is this for, for, for the women's game? It's amazing. I mean, we talked about this yesterday, and I have to say I couldn't care less about March Madness. I watched my first March Madness games because of this, because of the game glued to the TV yesterday. I mean, if you can get somebody like me to be glued to NCAA anything, then I think you're actually making a difference. All right, Mike, we got our final four. Who do you think is going to win the championship for the ladies? I think I think momentum is on the Iowa side, but I'm so excited because this March Madness is all about women uh, this year. And I think what's happening is it's creating an incredible pipeline uh, into the WNBA, where we would definitely see the rematch between Caitlin and Angel Reese because now they are tied one and one. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, and that is our last call for this half hour. LZ, Julie, John, and Mike, thank you very much. And thank you for streaming with us. I'm Alex Perche. Follow ABC News Live on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and more. And coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern, be sure to catch ABC News Live Prime with Lindsay Davis for the day's biggest stories and the impact they have on you. The news never stops, and neither do we. Keep it right here on ABC News Live. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.